This is Stephanie from statisticshowto.com. When you run an ANOVA, the results will tell you if there is a difference in means. However, it won't pinpoint which means are different. Duncan's multiple range test is a post hoc test to measure specific differences between pairs of means. The test has a higher power than the new one calls. It's more useful than the LSD when larger pairs of means are being compared, especially when those values are in a table. DMRT tends to require larger differences between means compared to the LSD, which guards against type 1 error. DMRT assumes you have already run an ANOVA and you've got a significant result. We're going to calculate DMRT for the following output. Step 1 is to rank the treatments from highest to lowest mean. For this set of data, the means in order are 39.3, 20.7, and 11.3. The next few steps are to compare the highest mean, 39.3, with the lowest, 11.3. First, we're going to look up the Q value in this table with three treatments and six degrees of freedom for the error term. The Q value is 4.34. The next step is to find sigma d squared. That is going to be 2 times the residual mean square divided by n. And there's our residual mean square from the ANOVA output. That gives us 5.85. And we take the square root of that to get sigma d. And we want to multiply that by the q value. That gives us 10.5. Next I want to calculate the actual difference between my two means. So if I subtract those, the highest mean from the lowest mean, I get a difference of 28. And I'm going to use the value I just calculated of 10.5. 28 is greater than 10.5, so we can conclude the highest mean is significantly different from that of the lowest mean. Now we repeat the process for our next two means. We're going to compare the second highest mean with the lowest. We're going to look up the Q value in the table with two treatments. We're now excluding the highest mean, so the Q value will change. We've got 6 degrees of freedom for the error term, which gives a Q value of 3.46. We multiply sigma d, which we calculated before as 2.42, by our new Q value of 3.46. That gives us 8.37. The difference between our two means is 9.4, which is greater than 8.37. So the second highest mean is also significantly different from that of the lowest mean. If you have more values in your output, continue down the table, changing the Q value as you go. Once you have a non-significant result, you can stop at that point. Thanks for checking in and I'll see you in the next video.